Hello again everyone. In this video we're going to be sysprepping a Windows 7 operating system. Um, for this I have created a virtual machine. I generally don't recommend doing this in your actual work or personal computer because it strips some of the data that you might want to keep. So in our virtual machine you can see this is actually the one I did the easy transfer video with we want to go to our C drive. We go down to Windows, hit the S key for System32, hit the S key one more time for SysPrep, and here is our EXE, our executable. You can see with the SysPrep tag here, this is showing that it's been SysPrepped before. Um, keep in mind that you generally have a limit of three SysPreps per machine before it fails. It can only be sysprep three times. Um, this Panther folder will usually keep logs. So we see a log and an error log. Um, sometimes if you are imaging multiple computers simultaneously and pulling an image down to each one of them, they may look here for the answer file that we created in the last video. So if you're using an answer file, it's good to have a copy of it at the sysprep folder right here at the root of this directory and another copy of it here in the panther folder just in case because sometimes it will look for a file here and if it doesn't have one it'll create one that's empty and it can cause some headaches if you have it linked here but it's not using your answer file so just create an extra copy and throw it in the panther file panther directory here in any case we'll continue with the sysprep here we'll run that application and close our background window the sysprep tool window will pop up here and so our options we can do out of box experience or audit mode audit mode is for kind of testing software sometimes or if you want to install additional drivers um, if you're pulling it down on multiple different kinds of machines like you have a few Dell machines maybe a few Toshiba's and maybe a few Asus machines you can use the audit mode to go and install extra drivers for each machine so you don't have to do it later um, we're going to stick with the standard out-of-box experience, and we're going to tell it to go ahead and generalize. This will strip the SID from the computer. It'll also remove all of the Windows product keys and license keys. So the operating system license key will be removed. Um, any Microsoft products like Microsoft Office, if those are activated, it'll strip that license key as well. Um, and then our shutdown options, we can tell it to quit, which means that if we take the generalize off and tell it to quit, we'll reboot and the sysprep tool will just close. Um, reboot will sysprep the machine, stripping all of that information and then reboot it. Shutdown will strip all the information and then shut it down. The shutdown option is used primarily when you are imaging over a network. Once the sysprep has been completed, you can then send an image up to uh, Windows Deployment Services server and use that image to re-image multiple computers all at the same time. For demonstration purposes, I'm going to have it generalize and reboot and tell it OK to go ahead and get started. Um, depending on the size of the hard drive, your imaging may take longer the bigger the image is. Um, SysPrep itself generally only takes a few minutes. So we have a couple of minutes here. I'm going to go ahead and pause the recording while this processes. Once it's complete, I'll res resume recording and we'll go into the next step. All right, so that sysprep has just finished and it's automatically rebooting the computer as we told it to. finish booting up here um, 
after this first reboot, it'll go through and it'll detect the hardware on the machine. So if you're imaging, as soon as the image comes down and it installs, it will automatically try to detect any of the hardware and then install any drivers needed for those. Uh, I've noticed for the most part, Dell drivers, unless it's a fairly old machine, the Dell hardware drivers will install pretty easily or automatically here. Um, Toshiba, it's kind of 50-50. Some will install without any problems. Sometimes you'll have to go and find them manually and install them that way. And especially for like Asus computers, I've noticed that a lot of the times it won't really pick up any drivers. So I'll have a very, very basic uh, video driver. I won't have any audio drivers or any USB, any wireless or LAN drivers. So it all depends on the machines that you're imaging. You may have to go to the support site for that manufacturer and download the driver packages manually and install them manually. So while this goes and finishes the basic setup, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video. We will come back at the next step. Alright, so we see that installing the devices is completing now. Then I'm going to go into system settings as it's doing. Kind of get a basic setup going. And it should need to reboot one more time. And once it comes up off of that, then it'll be prompting us for, I believe, a computer name, user account name, set up a password for the user account. And we'll see all of that here as it finishes rebooting. So ideally, especially if you're working in the industry and you're building up computers for users or selling you know, used or refurbished and you're doing it this way, you'll use an unattend file when you create the imaging or even when you just build up the machine, you'll start an out-of-box experience and install whatever you need, including the drivers, and then use an unattend file to automate most of this process. The unattend or the answer file can automate everything in here, all of these prompts. Um, the only one you might not want to skip is this one, where they set up, you know, a user account and a computer name. We'll call this PCX. Um, setting up the password, you probably don't want to automate that. You want to let, you know, your customer pick their own account name and password and all of that. I'm going to go ahead and skip this without creating a password. And the Windows product key, this is likely one that you would want to have automated in your answer file, just so your customers don't have to worry about it. Uh, you can do licensing keys here. I'm going to tell it to skip and accept the license terms. You can even automate this step where it will automatically select that and move on. set this up as a work network. So here it'll finish finalizing all those settings and creating the user account. Then when you log into the user account, it'll have to build that desktop and pro finish building that profile for them. Which it should show us here in just a moment. And that will show us that the sysprep has completed and the computer is ready for use. And there we are. So preparing the desktop. And then it'll finish logging in. Um, you can use the sysprep to retain applications and software and data, um, anything that's installed will remain unless you do a full format or a re-image or reinstall Windows, something like that. So you can do this to have software installed and see the customer, it'll seem like it's brand new out of the box, just barely installed the operating system, but it'll already have all of the software that they wanted 
or any of your company's package software. So that covers it for this video. If you have questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below, and I will see you in my next video.